Little Adam's got a PT Cruiser friend. I was gonna. I was gonna. Yeah, it's driving away. It's leaving. Little Adam's buddy's leaving. PT Cruiser friend. Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Camo Dave. Uh, we're here. Uh, that guy is probably driving that car, wondering why I'm aiming a camera at him. <laughs> like, I just came here to the, the city hall to pay my taxes or something. There's this goofy guy uh, coming out here to take pictures of me. Oh man! Oh man! Oh! Oh no! I gotta get the uh, gotta get some more of my gorilla tape and mount my camera. Oh. How's everybody doing today? It is uh, it is uh, Monday. It's Monday. I'm going to do a few errands today, and I thought everybody likes it when I talk in the car. Let's make sure the uh, camera's on. Yeah, camera's on. Good. All right. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> there's a certain nomad that I used to cover a lot, okay? A lot. If you look at my old videos from two or three years ago, he was in the clickbait a lot. And we, we always had a kind of a good relationship. And, uh, you know, it was kind of like, hey, you know, you talk about me a lot, but I, you know, I think you're helping me grow my channel. And, and then it got to a point where, I don't know, I don't know, just things happened and he didn't want me covering him anymore. Good morning, little Adam. How you doing? So, uh, yeah. I still like the guy. I mean, he is oddly compelling. He does good videos. There's lots of drama in his videos. He certainly knows the YouTube machine and how to work it and all that. You know, it, it, who is who is it? Nomadic, pramatic, nomadic, climactic, nomadic, zapatic, nomadic, fanatic, nomadic, fanatic. I think his name is that. I think that's his name. Derek, Eric, Eric, Derek, something like that. You know, he's, uh, he lives with it. He has his cat and he's, you know, been on YouTube for many, many, many years and I've been covering him for the entire five years of my channel. So what I wanted to say today, and I, I like looking at people's videos and seeing something, they drop a hint. They just drop a little hint in their videos. They drop a little hint and it kind of like resonates. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that car's named Jules. There's, there's a, oh wow. I gotta see this. This is the uh, climbing studio over here next to our building. Uh, there, the uh, it's really good. You gotta go check them out. I've never been in there. Bigfoot Climbing Studios. They have this vehicle called Jules. It's a big gray Jeep. It's really cool. There it is. See it? Isn't that neat? It's called Jules. I've, I've never been in the climbing studio, but I do uh, recommend that you go there. Maybe they'll give me free lessons. And I can go do some mountain climbing. So anyway, are we still on? Are we still on? Yeah. Damn, I should not be messing with this camera while I'm driving. Okay, so, the, the hint he dropped in this video. Okay, no, there's a truck, is it gonna stop? Yeah, okay, good. I gotta pay attention to the road. Put my hands on the wheel. Gotta make Nampa Nampa handy. Just hold the wheel. Don't let go of the wheel. <coughs> so, Nampa Nampa always complains. You always are doing this. <laughs> no. I'm holding the wheel for Nampa Nampa. So anyway, at least one hand. Uh, so anyway, um, he drops a hint in a video. He did buy the house, okay? A year ago, middle of the pandemic, he, he allegedly bought a, he bought a house. I don't know if he actually bought the house or it's rented or whatever, but anyway, he has a house that he has availability to and I guess he's paying on it, whether it's rent or mortgage payment, I don't know. Who knows whether it's a rent to, to own or whatever, who knows? But he does have a house there in the beautiful state of Illinois which is controlled by the Democrats in Chicago. So the whole scene, it's a, it's a, it's a big tax democratic state, okay? Just like California and New York, it's got Chicago. It's big, it's a big, you know, you know, it's one of those states. It's run by, you know, the lefties. And I don't think he likes that. But the other thing is he bought the, he bought the place in the pandemic because he wanted to have a place where, you know, things get really, really bad. He has a place to go and place to park his vehicles and stuff like that. Okay, now, uh, in this video, one of his last videos he just did, he drops this thing where 
you know, this was a pandemic purchase. He, he drops line, a, word, a, a phrasing to that effect. This was a pandemic purchase. Meaning, I get the impression that he's not happy with it now. The pandemic is easing up. People are getting their vaccines. The caseloads are down. Uh, you know, it's very, very possible by midsummer, we'll be pretty much back to normal in most states. We'll never be completely back to normal, but we'll be pretty much, I'm not holding the wheel because I'm parked here. Okay, I gotta hold the wheel. Oh, it's a car there says, I voted for tacos. Tacos, taco stacks. So anyway, um, yeah. So anyway, uh, he made a, you know, he made a hint in this video that he's not real happy with the house and he, who knows, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Does, I don't think he likes Illinois. He doesn't like the political ramifications of Illinois. I don't think he's li he likes his neighbors there anymore. I don't think he likes the house. It's kind of a damp house. He has to put big boxes of damp red all over the place. You know, and you know, he does have it filled up with Mickey dolls that he's collected, and, you know, with his, uh, you know, pairing there with Stormy, Vanessa, the lady that took me to Disney twice in 2019. She's a nice lady. I like her. But anyway, and, and you know, he does have a bunch of pinball machines and arcade machines that he's collected. So the house is full of stuff. He's furnished it very nicely. Television, security system, you, you, know, you name it. Couch. <laughs> so... Yeah, so the question is, is he gonna keep the house? You know, I, I have severe, I have, I've, I think he's having a lot of second thoughts about the house, I really do. You know, he does have a friend, I'm not gonna name the friend, who runs that um, car audio place, that audio, audio, auto audio place there in uh, East Alton, Illinois there. It's very nice, check it out. If you, he always, Eric always promotes it on his channel. But anyway, uh, you know, I, I don't know, you know, I don't know. You know, I don't know. It, well, Eric, you know, here's what I think might very well happen. Eric will get a storage locker somewhere in the St. Louis area near where his friend's audio place is. And he'll take all that stuff and stick it in the, the storage locker. The Mickey dolls and the, uh, and the, uh, and the, uh, what is it? The, or the arcade stuff. Because he likes that. You know, he's not going to, that stuff he kind of likes. But I think he's probably going to get, he's going to say adios to the house in one form or another. I just th think that, the other thing with Eric, he's very security conscious, even though he does drive around, Derek, he does drive around with his name all over his vehicle, so you know it, he's got his smart car with his name all over it, so you know wherever, you know, there he is, everybody, I'm announcing I'm here. <laughs> so what I think... You know, uh, the house is something that's permanently fixed, okay? It's fixed. So it's, you know, people get, figure out where it is. And it does, it's not hard to figure out where it is. Uh, you know, there have been addresses posted on various uh, troll channels, on various parody channels. I've seen addresses posted on various parody channels. There's one particular parody channel that's all over Eric every, all, every, almost every time he posts that they post stuff. And it is kind of funny stuff. It reminds me somewhat of stickers in the old days, Nomadic Fanatic stickers, that, uh, that parody channel. But anyway, so, uh, so uh, you know, the address is probably out there. People know it. And the problem is it's fixed. It's not like his, you know, Eric is when he's in a vehicle, he can always just keep moving. So there's security issues, I think, with having a structure like that with Eric. Plus the end, with the pandemic easing up, with the fact that Illinois is a, you know, considerably cons not a conservative state, considering the fact that the weather in Illinois is not up to Eric's liking. You know, he likes to chase 70 and the it's, he probably got two weeks in the fall and two weeks in the spring where it's nice weather there in Illinois. Other than that, it's really hot and sticky or it's really cold and snowy and rainy, you know? So I don't know. My my feeling watching his last couple videos, at least at least the last video or the last videos when he's been out the house, is I don't think he's thinking that I think he's having severe second thoughts about buying that house or renting that house or whatever it is that he's doing with that house. And I wouldn't be surprised if we he says adios to that house in one form or another pretty soon. Probably get a storage locker somewhere in the uh St. Louis area there and uh, move some of his stuff in there and then just get on the road like he's been, you know, I don't know. I think, you know, the fact that he said pre-pandemic, it was a pandemic purchase. 
a pan is, you know, thinking the pandemic was really going to change everything. And I, I think once people get the vaccines, I think once we get back to some resemblance, resemblance of normal this summer, things are going to be, I think he's going to think, you know, do I really need this house? It's a bill wheel. It's got, you know, he's, he's had problems with the internet. He's had problems with the gas company. He's had problems with the neighbors. Uh, he's had problems with water leaks in the house. Uh, I don't know. He's had problems with the locks just recently. I think, I really think, I really think that um, 2021, Eric's going to say adios to that house. What do you think, Derek, Eric? <laughs> I, you know, and, and it makes total sense, you know. I, I, you know, pandemic purchase, now it's the pandemic is easing up. Maybe it's time to let go. I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. That's just my thought. Uh, check out his new video there. Uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, Back to the house there in beautiful, beautiful Illinois. All right, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. It's the 22nd of um, uh, March 2020. I'm going out hiking. Vlog under.